So what are you preparing for? Do you know what you're preparing for? I don't know what you're preparing for. But let's have a discussion about what you probably need to prepare for. So, on today's video, we're going to talk about some of the things that are going on in this lovely world that we live in and some of the things that you probably should be prepared for. Number one thing you probably should be prepared for if you live along the coast and you've watched any of my videos, it is a hurricane. Yes, I know, I keep preaching, but you know what? A lot of people out there are unprepared when it comes to hurricanes. And I have done extensive videos on that. And if you look right up here, I'll leave a little link to my hurricane series and you can find all kinds of information in there. Now let's move on to something else. So you have all these people out here um, on YouTube, on the news, on everything else, all these uh, analysts and speculators and everybody else that are talking, you know, the end of the world. Um, you can hear anything from uh, September, November, December, uh, whenever it may be. Um, and let's assume that one of them or maybe some of them might be right. Now, I do not like the word assume. I was raised. That word makes an ass out of you and me. So on that note, one of the main things that you probably should do is just be prepared for whatever may come our way. We have no way of predicting the future. We do not know what is going to hold as far as what will go on, what the government will do, what will the election turn out to be. Nobody can predict any of this kind of stuff. Yes, you have polls and everything else for the election. You have all these different news agencies and different writers and YouTubers and everything else that are throwing this at you and throwing that at you. And they're throwing everything at you. And you just want to know what is going on and what do I have to do? It gets frustrating, right? So, on that... What you probably really need to do is just be prepared. If you do not label yourself as, say, a prepper, and that is somebody that has prepped for an emergency situation. Now, the emergency situation could be any number of things. The end of the world, an asteroid, um, uh, a tidal wave, uh, earthquake, hurricane, fires, floods. Maybe you need to buy a boat. Hey, don't know. I'm sure there's somebody out there telling you to buy a boat. But as long as you have some way to make sure that you can provide for you and your family and make sure that you have food and water and some way to purify water, some way to cook if you don't have power, either it be wood, gas, charcoal, propane, um, kerosene, whatever it is that you want to cook on that you have as an emergency backup. You want to make sure that you have an emergency bag that you carry with you at all times. I've done videos on that also. You want to make sure that maybe you have a 72-hour food bucket. That's a grab and go type situation. I did a video on that and show you exactly how to pack it and what to put in it. Go back and check some of my videos out. The biggest thing is, is if you listen to everybody that's out there, it's going to drive you crazy. You know, I mean, doesn't matter if it's YouTube videos or if it is um, the news. If you're online and you're doing your own research, you're going to find somebody that says this, somebody that says that, somebody that does this, somebody's doing that. You know, the whole world is going crazy. Now, I do think that something's going to come back around. When? 
That I don't know. I'm not a doctor. And neither is probably 80% of the other people out there that are talking about this. They're all speculating. They're like a weatherman. They're looking at a report. They're looking at a chart. They're looking at this information and that information and they're piecing two and two together and they're coming up a little short. They're only getting three. But unless you get out there and you do your own investigating and your own homework and make your own decision, then you'll know what to prepare for. You understand? So the ball is in your court. You can do with it whatever you wish you can do. Now, I do on my channel, as I have stated on many, many times, uh, my channel is about being prepared um, a lot of for hurricanes and stuff like that. But that all rolls into everything else. It's just like if you're preparing for anything else. It doesn't matter if you're preparing for the end of the world, if you're preparing for a hurricane, it doesn't matter. It all goes into what you would call your slush fund. So you have extra food, you have extra water, maybe you have extra cash, you have extra gasoline, you have extra charcoal and gas for your grills and, and whatever it may be, it all goes into your supplies. And you have those supplies, if you do it right, you have food and water and all those supplies that will last for quite a long time that you don't have to worry about running to the store every time somebody says something or the weatherman says you're going to get a hurricane. You're not fighting the crowds. If it's the end of the world, it don't matter. You're not going to be here. If an asteroid hits tomorrow, so be it. We're all going to be toast like that. Some of us might maybe live a little longer if maybe you rush to the mountains and find a hideout somewhere, but eventually it's going to get you. Because more than likely, it's going to cause some massive earthquake in the mountain that you're in, down inside the little cavern there. It's probably just going to collapse on you and kill you. So, the moral of the story is, what are you preparing for? You need to prepare to be prepared, to be ready, on a moment's notice, in case something happens. Be careful of what you listen out there. It's kind of like monkey see, monkey do. You know what I mean? There's a lot of videos that are just scaring the hell out of people. And all you have to do is sit back, take a deep breath, breathe in, breathe out. And just be prepared, people. It's what it's all about. It's very simple to do. Very simple. Start packing a little bit away each week when you go to the store. And within no time, you'll have a nice little supply that didn't cost you thousands of dollars out of your pocket running in and trying to fight the crowds. Just makes logical sense. Just a little common sense. But then again, we are living in the 21st century. And a lot of that just ain't around anymore. So, till next time. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles. I'll catch you all on the flip side.